Okay, guys, in this project, what we're going to do is to start with a self-portrait, one that was taken here at school against a white or very light-colored background. Once we have this, once we have this cropped, similar to the way we see here, once we have our image, very similar to what we're seeing here in this example. We're going to be working with the Adobe Photoshop program first. In the Adobe Photoshop program, we're going to create four black and white versions from this starting image. Please make sure that when you save your images, you don't replace the current original color version that we need to start with to make the four black and white versions. Once we have these created, we'll then switch over to the Adobe Illustrator program and begin to work with Adobe Illustrator in two ways. Once to create a vector outline of the black areas. Once we have this done, we'll colorize the black vector shapes. The next step in the process is to add and work with a brush to create an outline effect around the image. When we're done, the image will have something of this kind of an appearance. In Adobe Illustrator, we'll have our four color versions. In this example, the hair was painted on a separate layer and a separate color was chosen. And then again, finally, we'll work with a brush to create the outline effect. Let's get started inside the Adobe Photoshop program to begin. All right, inside of the Adobe Photoshop program, you'll open up your self-portrait image. The first thing you're going to do is go to Image, Adjustments, down to Threshold. When the Threshold dialog box opens up, we're going to be looking at putting in different numbers to change the amount of black that is going to be showing up from a really high amount of black which will be a higher number for the threshold level to a low amount of black which is going to be a much lower number. For this project, in this example, for this photo, we're going to start with around 170. For your picture that you work with, these numbers will be different. But visually, if you take a look at what you're seeing here, you're going to want to start with a lot of black in the image, and then eventually down to something much lower. Something like this. Let's jump back to what we had before. This will be our first one. Again, larger number for the threshold level, a lot of black in the image. Your first one should be something similar to this. Have some whites, some whites in the eyes specifically, and a lot of black. Press OK, and all we're going to do is save this as, so save as. I'm saving mine to the desktop, but you can save yours to your Google Drive. First one will be called 1. We'll press Save. The JPEG options, quality 9 is fine. Press OK. Now, we do not want to start with this image for our second one want to go back to our original self-portrait color picture. So we'll go to File, Open. You can go to Open Recent or File, Open and find your self-portrait again. We'll open this up. I'm going to zoom in once. Image, Adjustments, Threshold. We were at 170 before. Our second one is going to be somewhere maybe around and this example again, 130. Not as much black, but still a good amount. Press OK. File. Save as. Here's our first one. This one will be two. JPEG images again, quality nine. Open recent. 
There's our self-portrait, image adjustments. This time we're going to drop down from the 130 maybe to like 100. File, save as, three. You can see our first one, our second one, more black, less black. Again, save a JPEG, quality nine. Open recent, and one final time. This time when we do our threshold, it will be the lowest amount of black and a lot of white in the image. In this example, I'm still seeing a little bit of detail in the nose, the lips, the eyes, a little bit in the hair. This number is good for this image. Press OK. Oop. And file, save as. This one will be number four. So we have one, two, three. Here's our fourth one that we're saving, and we still have our color version. JPEG, press OK. So we have our first one, second one, third, and fourth. Now that we have these images saved and ready to go, we'll jump over to the Adobe Illustrator program and begin the second part of the process there.